All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here. We are back for some more of the Final Fantasy X Let's Play, and if you did miss out during the last one, well, we just went and did some exploration within the airship, and not only that, but we got some new weapons uh, for most of our teammates that are going to be happening, and uh, we're going to be relying more so with Waka and Titus and a little bit of Orin out here within our way of this set of Ari fight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to kind of put away with Kamari and Lulu for right now because the magic that is going to be happening is not going to be all that too great for what is going to happen within this fight because we want to make sure that we go and do a lot of physical attacks that are going to happen within this said dragon that is going to be happening here there's avari himself and uh now i'm not going to get myself into too much about for what this battle is going to be but i'll kind of let you guys in on one thing uh, before we get ourselves into the battle is that uh, avari does have two different type of phases that happen uh and what is going to happen is is that sid actually does have something where we can actually maneuver around within the different airships so you can actually have avari uh like fully far away from the airship itself or you can actually have a Vari uh, right in front of the actual battle that's going to happen. But within our way, uh, for what we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to rely more so of having a Vari fully on out of the actual way of where the airship's going to be. Because we're going to have to do a lot of cheering and a lot of other things to at least try to boost up with our physical. And uh, I know that we did some customization within those sub weapons, so that should at least hopefully try to help out with some things as well too. But... Uh, within these two videos for today, uh, not only are we just going to be just doing out here with, uh, well, for a course with Final Fantasy, but we are going to do some Twilight Princess as well, too, in the process. And I hope you guys do go ahead and check it out on that as well, because I believe within this said video, uh, we should at least be getting ourselves all said and done with the Palace of Twilight and, of course, take it on the actual said uh, final boss as well within the Zant battle. Now, I know that we do have Ganondorf as well, so we do actually have at least like two different type of final bosses, but... At least uh, the one good thing is is that we're going to take care of the penultimate boss, which I believe that's what uh, that actual type of phrasing is, until we go and take on the actual said uh, boss that is going to be there. Now, I want to say that we do have Hyrule Castle, but that will just be a little bit later afterwards. But for right now, we got Fall Fantasy 10 to go and worry about for right now. And that's what we're going to be more so inclined to go and do out here for this episode. I'll worry about that video a little bit later. But... Now, here for this phase is that, since I did go and tell you guys that Sid is going to be in control of this said airship, well, Sid can also be able to go and set up on some missiles as well. Now, I believe he does have three attempts with these said missiles, but I don't know if this man can also recharge those said missiles during the time of the fight, but... Uh, I, I, somebody like could go and uh, quote on that one for me, uh, if uh, Sid actually does like recharge or not, but... But I think throughout my way of how the battle was going for myself is, is that uh, we went through all three different missiles and we did pretty well, even though that, uh, that, that it run, yeah, it basically ran out during the time, but we were okay. So here we go, let the battle finally commence. And uh, we actually do have uh, Riku out here to go and at least somewhat start it off. And of course, we are going to have to do some stealing. And what we can go and pick up is going to be with a set of water gem. Uh, so that's going to be uh, somewhat helpful if we ever do need to do any customizations with that. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go and cast the log on this guy. It is going to be effective to it. Uh, but he is going to hit pretty hard. And uh, the one thing that you do really want to be careful with is that this man can also go for haste on himself as well. And uh, that can become somewhat of a problem. Now, I know that I would have cast haste on myself. I know that I had to do that, of course, for, uh, for what Titus is going to be happening. But, uh, so, for what is going to happen here, uh, we are going to have to go and uh, set up for a, uh, a power break with uh, for what aura is going to happen. And uh, from what you guys just went and saw is that uh, Sid is going to have to go and now uh, kind of pull back against it. So, we are going to have to see this guy actually start... Uh, heading away from the actual said airship that's going to be happening now. Now, this is where you want to be really, really, really careful because now this is where Avari is going to be setting up with his annoying attack where he's going to at least try to cast some bit of some poison that's going to happen. If you guys do recall, that Elbed potion that we actually do have, since we do have a whole bunch and a whole smack to these type of Elbed potions, uh, this can also help us get ourselves at least somewhat cured from those said type of poison elements. And also not only that, but it also heal heals up everybody as well too. Uh, from it so yeah we're gonna get hit pretty hard from that move uh, but hopefully that's not gonna happen too often throughout here 
So now we're just going to have to kind of look around for the L bed posters. Now, if you want to figure out where those L bed posters are going to be, they're actually normally in the use function. Uh, kind of like how we're like normally using like with the different type of like, uh, like, like, I guess you could say like the smoke bombs and other things. They're basically in that type of item inventory there. So uh, there we go. Get everybody healed up and ready to go. And uh, now I think this is going to be that time where I think I am going to have to go and try to bring out with Waka and also setting up from some cheering. Now, most of this battle is going to be heavily edited down just so you guys don't have to see me go and kind of struggle too, too much out here within this fight because it was a little bit annoying for what I do need. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do see right now, I did bring out with Kamari, but again, we don't really need Kamari, but I just want to have him just to there just to at least gain the experience that we do need. But that's basically about it. So now we do have the guided missiles attacks, and uh, that is going to be the first of many, I think, at this point in time that we'll actually be getting to use. Uh, so now there's just only going to be two remaining, but so far throughout that battle, all of them have already been used up at that point. And uh, just like that, we should almost be able to knock them out, and I think we are getting close. There we go. And here goes out with that poison breath attack, which that's going to be really annoying. Ugh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So that one can also cause poison as well. This man just likes to use poison everywhere, so... That's not going to be good at all either. Okay, so let's just go for another hit there. And... Oof. Yeah, so if you guys already see, is that this man already has haste. That happened during throughout the battle, but... Either way, he's already done and finished with... And um, something interesting that you can go and do here within this said battle is that if you actually do get the overkill, uh, you will actually get yourself with not one, but two black magic spheres. Uh, so, unfortunately, I did not get myself with the second magic, uh, well, for the second black magic spear. So, I will only just get just one for what this reward is going to be all about. Alright, and there we go. And just like that, we got our rewards that we do need. But now, we're going to have to go and do a whole bunch of battles with a lot of soldiers that are going to be around. And there is going to be one set of me that we are going to be seeing at some point here throughout the battle that will be uh, quite annoying. Uh, but again, it's not like a boss or anything, but it is a very annoying enemy that likes to uh, basically like to uh, kick any type of uh, well, type of group that, that you do have within, your, uh, within the battle. And it will send them flying and then you won't be able to use them again. It's kind of like that one enemy back in like Fall Fantasy 9 that kind of likes to do that. And I'm trying to remember what the name is, but it'll come back to me at some point. But yep, the wedding ceremony is about to begin, which that is not good. Because we already know about all about Seymour at this point in time. This man is like, uh, not good. Now they have to go and get married. But just remember that around over here, after once this wedding ceremony is all said and finished, there is going to be a said Elbed Primer that you can never go and find again. Because uh, this is the only type of time for right now that you could be able to go and pick it up. So it should be simple enough to go and see because like it's just right before heading on into the temple. And you should easily be able to just kind of just see it like right behind. I think like we're right in front of like actually having a uh, Tyson's foot right there. Oh, there's that said guy again, huh? I know that we seen him all the way back in the, uh, in, in that type of Meehan, or, well, in that Mushroom Rock Road area within that whole Sin Battle that was going on. Now, we are going to have to fight one of those type of weird, uh, type of robots that are there. We will be seeing that happen throughout our way. Now, those guys could be somewhat pretty annoying as well, too, because they got, like, their own type of missile attacks that they like to go and use. But here we go. We're going to intercept the winning. But a lot of these soldiers that we will be fighting are going to be dropping a lot of ability points. So if you want to go and bring out all your groups and try to at least uh, make sure to get them all, uh, all like within all these same experience and whatnot and trying to get all their different ability points, this would probably be a good enough time to go ahead and do so. So now it feels like Sonic Riders now. <laughs> Just seeing everybody just like basically uh, going off the, on these rails here. There's a little bit of, like some Kirby Air Rider, like Sonic Riders type of feel to it. 
Now, uh, I want to say that within basically tomorrow, because like I know that uh, right now is July 28th during the time of this actual said recording, but unfortunately, the sad type of moment is going to happen. I don't know if you guys have been here so far in the video game news, but from what I have been hearing so far is that the Xbox 360 marketplace is going to be shutting down. And uh, right now, I want to say is that like 90% off? So if you do want to go and pick up with anything that you want to go and try to grab for your Xbox 360, you should probably go and do it now. Uh, it is like on a very good enough discount pricing that you can just go and purchase almost like anything that you want to go and get uh, within uh, any type of DLC games or, or, well not DLC games, but Xbox Live games or anything or even any of the DLC content. I already got myself uh, quite a bit of some extra different games uh, that are digitally, uh, which I went and uh, picked up with uh, Alien Hominid, which I don't think I've ever tried out that game before. I did go and uh, get myself with Adventures of Shuggy. Uh, I don't really know all that too much about it, but it is almost like somewhat of like a Metroidvania type of game uh, for the Xbox 360. It should be pretty fun. I don't know if I may probably do a let's play with that at some point later on down the road. I did get like Mega Man 9, uh, which that was really cool. Uh, I've never actually played through Mega Man 9 or 10 before. I know that they were basically like a WiiWare game and then also like an Xbox Live Arcade game. So I should go and try that out at some point and see what that's all about here. So yeah, so those are the enemies right there. Uh, even though that you guys didn't get to see uh, too, too much about with the battle there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys just went and saw, Lulu was just basically the only type of member on our team to go and be able to do anything. And uh, basically, once that guy does his thrust kick, you won't be able to go and do any type of move around with the other type of other uh, two other different characters there. Because all you're going to have is just only just one member on your team. But either way, I think we are now done. All the battles are now set and finished at that point. We just went and just uh, take it on uh, that other said robot. Stop. Oh, man. We're all surrounded. That's not good. And now we got a big, huge standoff now. Oh, what's Yuna going to be playing on doing, huh? Is she going to have to fight through Seymour as well? Oh, man. It's too bad that, like, Tyus just can't just go and just, like, kind of just do his blitzball kick or something and just get that uh, weapon out of his face. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely one. Oh, she's gonna get ready to attack. Do it, Yuna, please. Stop. Do you not value your friend's oh. lives? So now, basically, this guy's gonna have to, like, kind of tell her to stop now. Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. Well, she doesn't want to hurt anybody. Not like the Guardian, so I guess she is going to have to drop that rod there. Oh God, and now the wedding is going to still happen. <laughs> uh, fortunately, once they go and seal the kiss, it's already kind of final at this point in time. And there it is. Oh man. Uh, we need like ace attorney or something to just say objection Kill 
Back to this guy pointing a gun at me again? What is with this guy? And look at that! That man's like completely shaking his hand. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are I don't think he would like like having somebody shaking that like like at least like a gun or something like that, like you know that you no. can just go and just kinda like just take it away from them because they because I don't think they ever really Let went out of their way to shoot anything like that before. Else. Oh no. What the heck is Yuna doing? She's gonna literally sacrifice her own self? Somebody should at least go and try to save Yuna before she actually goes and falls off the ledge there. Leave now, please. You're coming with us. Don't worry. Go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> well, she does have all the Aeons with her. Well, almost all the Aeons because we don't really have Bahamut just yet. But that will happen shortly. Fly. We do have the Belleville Temple coming up in the next episode. But, but the one type of Aeon that would potentially go and help her out would have to be Valfor. Because that one is also a flying creature as well oh my god Yuna! she just went and just did an assassin's creed type of swan dive off of there or i could say back dive off of it not really like a swan dive <laughs> Yeah, that would be one game to go and actually play on the channel at some point, is play Assassin's Creed 2. The first of many of the games that I've ever played through, like, an Assassin's Creed series before. I do have the Ezio, the, uh, Ezio Trilogy for the Xbox 360. Watch big time! Time to make our escape, so let's go. What, what was that? An all bed flash bomb. Let me go. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through. Ah. Ah. So, yep, there it is. So, there's the place that we're gonna have to go and head to. The temple is just almost just a little bit further, uh, well, a little bit closer now, not further, but a little bit closer now. Once we go through this spiral staircase that's all the way down here, uh, we should be encountering out where that Albed Primer is going to be now. It's too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Now, I'm going to say this is that this Belleville Temple right here is going to be very, 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 very important. Because if you're like someone like me that wants to go and try to pick up with the other said Aeon that you do get as a reward, you may possibly want to go and get this Destruction Sphere. Because I know that so far throughout all of our ways of all the different temples that we've been crossing our into with, we have found all of the different Destruction Spheres except for the one that is going on with the Belleville Temple. And uh, we want to make sure that we dang will get this one because this was a very big important one because i'm pretty sure that we cannot come back here to this area as well uh because once we get bahamut so we want to make sure that we at least go and pick it up now i want to say it could be a little bit tricky to go and try to do the destruction sphere but we'll be going through all of it to try to make sure that we'll, we'll do it together so this is yevon's true face they betray their own teachings so just right past through this door here, there should be another little area that we just need to walk on into with. And that's where we'll go and find that outfit, uh, book that's going to be down here. Yep, and you should be able to just see it just right around where Walk is. So just right there. But with all that being said in mind, I think what we're going to be doing is ending off our time out here with Fall Fantasy Temple today. See you guys in the next one for when we go and start reaching off into our way of where the Belleville Temple is going to be. And hopefully try to pick up with Bahamut. So see you guys then.